former state Senate President Mike Herodopoulos to talk about what they got done. Good morning, gentlemen. Danielle, good morning, Mike. Thanks for sticking around with us. My pleasure. Good morning, Ryan. So it was a busy session, Mike. And if you're Governor DeSantis, you look back and you've got to be pretty pleased that most of what he wanted to get done with a Republican controlled majority, he got done. He really did. Uh, it went universally across the papers on Saturday morning. DeSantis wins. Uh, not only becoming a rising presidential possibility in 2024, but he had a few priority items in the Florida legislature this year, which one was, of course, the anti-riot bill. This is the idea where some of these crazy protests going around the the country are not going to happen here in Florida. Uh, second was the idea that a lot of the people have been deplatformed and literally taken off social media. He was able to take on big tech and win there. And finally, the elections bill has been changed. He wants to make sure that no fraud takes place here in the state of Florida, and he has made changes there. And so DeSantis had a big win. And the best news probably for all Floridians is the fact that we have a larger budget, one hundred and one billion dollars but no tax increase because the florida economy is humming along pretty good right now yeah mike in a number of those bills you mentioned there's possible for legal challenges down the road i mean certainly lawyers look at this ahead of time but how could that play out well there's no doubt about it these are not exactly vanilla toast issues i mean you talk about for example the anti-riot bill some people of course are going to say it infringes upon the first amendment uh, but as grady judd of course the the well-known sheriff in in polk county has said People can tell the difference between a peaceful protest and a riot. He actually showed two different pictures and said, we all know the difference. What we don't want to see are groups like Antifa and others come in. If they come in, we want to have the ability to take them on and make sure they don't hurt individuals, let alone destroy public property. And so this is the challenge that we're trying to face. Thread that needle in the right way so you respect First Amendment rights. Governor DeSantis thinks they've done that in this bill, but I wouldn't be surprised if liberal activists are going to take this on and say that he's gone too far. Mike, and we see all the time legislation in different states, it, usually by July 1st, it changes people's lives. We talk about raises for teachers. We focused a lot on the auto insurance bill. How did that turn out? You know, a couple things happened. First, as you mentioned, on, on teachers and first responders, within this budget, they will receive a $1,000 bonus. They really stood up, did all the tough work during the COVID crisis as we continue on. And the governor and then the legislature said, if Washington, D.C. is going to send this money, we're going to give it to the people who are literally on the front lines, helping our kids, helping people go through this terrible tragedy, a $1,000 bonus for each. As far as auto insurance is concerned, a lot of people are really concerned. Sure enough, they actually passed that auto insurance bill. That means they eliminated what's called PIP. What PIP did is that, God forbid, you're in an auto accident, the first $10,000 in medical bills would be covered. They have taken that away and made it optional. Uh, they've also required drivers to have more motor vehicle insurance. And so most people think that this will raise rates. That said, this is going to go to Governor DeSantis. He has not publicly said if he's for or against the bill at this point. But the state CFO, Jimmy Petrona, said, bad idea. You should veto this, Governor, because it will raise rates, which most insurers have pretty much adhered to. Yeah, we'll see what happens, Mike. But boy, elections have consequences. We see it at the national level where Democrats control. Here at the state level where Republicans control. It makes a big difference. Just in 10 seconds. Oh, exactly right. This is what it's all about. I mean, the Democrats have a razor thin majority. They want to spend $6 trillion. Republicans have a majority a little larger. They spent the money as they see fit. Mike, got to leave it there. Always appreciate the insight. Very busy session. Have a great Monday. Thanks again, Ryan. Have a great week. That is former state Senate President Mike Herodopoulos. Amy, back to you. All right.